Hi guys, it's Hannah from Trek It and I'm here at the beautiful Langattuck Escarpment today to talk to you about the new Aerios FL Gore-Texes from Arcteryx. Um, now these are some of the most stable walking and approach shoes you're going to find. Uh, they pull a lot of influences from Arcteryx's already amazing running range. So not only are they incredibly stable and protective, but they're also very agile and lightweight for what they are. They're amazing. So these come in both a low and a mid ankle for both men and women. Um, I'm going to be focusing on the low ankle Arios FLs, uh, but it's just good to note that we do stock them in that height too for those of you who are looking for a bit of extra support and protection. So once you get them on, uh, that's when you're actually really going to feel that stability. Uh, it's actually incredibly hard to roll your ankles in these, even when you're putting stress on them and trying to do it on purpose. And that's really reassuring, especially if you are planning on taking these up on really technical trails like we've got around here. Um, but it doesn't actually make them feel clumpy uh, in any manner. They're still very, very lightweight and very agile. So the first thing that you'll notice when you go to pick up the shoes is that they're incredibly light. So these shoes weigh in at an amazing 300 grams. Uh, the upper is sealed in just about every location to inhibit debris collection. So they don't take on much extra weight at all, even in gross conditions. Um, the upper of the shoe is made from a single layer uh, really durable, really, really tough uh, Cordura mesh. And that's, that's a nylon. Um, so this uh, really tight knit uh, not only helps protect the shoe against um, you know scuffs and abrasion that kind of thing but it also means that your feet still breathe really well in the shoe even in really hot conditions. Okay so when you take these out on a more technical terrain uh, you need that extra bit of durability so you've got that in incredibly abrasion resistant mesh but then going around to the front you have a TPA toe cap and a TPU rand that runs all the way around the foot. And that just helps protect against rocks and scrapes and technical terrain. So the other thing that you'll notice is that there isn't very much stitching at all on the upper of the shoe, except for this little bit in the front and there's a little bit in the back too. Um, so the entire upper is made from one piece of fabric that's then stitched together at the back. Um, and the rand that runs all the way around the shoe isn't stitched on, it's uh, welded on. And what that means is that you actually get a much, much neater finish. Uh, it's also really breathable um, and it gives it a really snug glove-like fit throughout the whole shoe. So underneath that nylon upper is a Gore-Tex membrane. Now Gore-Tex, as we all know, is a fully waterproof membrane. Uh, it kind of perfectly balances durability and breathability, and it's just a really reliable membrane to have in there. Um, so if you were to look at Gore-Tex under a microscope, so the billions and billions of holes that make up Gore-Tex uh, are much, much smaller than a water droplet. So things like wet grass, rain, puddles, it's not going to let the water from that in but the holes are much much bigger than water vapor so like your sweat so the membrane allows your sweat or your water vapor to pass through it without um, allowing water droplets like wet grass and puddles to get in um, so provided you're wearing the correct socks um, I can actually pop a link up here to a blog that we wrote about why it's important to wear technical socks um, you know your feet are going to stay sweat free uh, and dry and comfortable. All right, moving into the inside of the shoe, uh, we have a four millimeter thick ortholite footbed, uh, which just sits in there really nicely. Um, it helps to wick sweat away from your feet, uh, helping that membrane to work really well and help you to keep your feet dry. But it also doesn't feel clumpy, it doesn't take up too much room, um, and it still allows for like a really agile uh, fit throughout the whole foot. Okay, so moving on to the midsole, which is kind of like the filling in the sandwich. So um, the Arios FL Gore-Texes use a um, compressed EVA midsole with a TPU shank. So this compressed EVA midsole is really, really good uh, for shock absorbency. It's also really cushioned. Um, so it's going to help protect your muscles and your joints and you're not going to get too fatigued after you know you're working hard all day uh, and that tpu shank is really in there for all that stability 
um, but it flexes with you. So it flexes with you when you walk, uh, but yet still offers you really, really good lateral stability. So that's the midsole. So we're going to move underneath the shoe and we're going to look at the outsole. So on the Arios FL Gore-Texes, uh, Architerix use Vibram Mega Grip. Now Vibram Mega Grip is arguably one of Vibram's stickiest compounds. Uh, it provides excellent traction on both wet and dry surfaces. Um, it's really one of the best uh, soles that we see uh, in outdoor footwear. It's also really durable, which is important if you're upping your mileage on the trails this season. So that's what the shoe is made up of. So now we're going to break down the features. So starting from the top, we'll, we'll start with the tongue. So uh, the Arios FL Gore-Texes use a gusseted tongue. Now basically what that means is that the tongue is uh, connected to the shoe on either side of the laces. Um, so what that does is that prevents water and debris from entering the shoe from the top uh, and that just <clears throat> helps protect your feet from those elements. It also means that it keeps the tongue centered uh, so you know you don't have to stop and wiggle it every couple of miles. Another really cool feature on the uh, Arios FL Gore-Texes are actually the laces. So you pick them up and you might realize that the laces look a little bit different to other shoes that you might have and that's because the laces designed in this are flat. Now that's not done by accident, that's not done to make them look cool. Flat laces uh, actually reduce the pressure across the top of your foot and in your instep, meaning that you can cinch the laces right up and get that really snug technical fit without them being uncomfortable. So I'm going to briefly outline uh, how the Arios FLs fit. So the Arios FL Gore-Texes uh, have a average to slightly wider fit with an average volume throughout the whole shoe. So that's to offer a precise and stable fit when out on technical terrain, but it also leaves enough room in the front for you to wiggle your toes. Now, depending on the volume of your foot, you might want to uh, add some volume reducers in these just to get uh, more of a precise fit. Um, but getting footwear sizing online can be a bit tricky. So we do always recommend to give our how to fit your footwear at home video a quick watch before you purchase them. So that's it guys, those are the gorgeously constructed Arios FL Gore-Texes from Arc'teryx. Uh, the perfect approach, walking, scrambling, hiking shoe uh, for all of your adventures this summer. Kind of no matter where you're going to take them, they adapt really, really well to wherever you want to go. If I have convinced you that these are the shoes for you, then do head over to the link up here just to have a bit more of a read and see some photos and to have a look at the men's version uh, and also the mids too. And if you love the video and you love our content, then do hit the subscribe button. It really feeds our ego and we love it. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Doopy doopy doop.